Good morning, good morning, good morning. Another beautiful day here. It's a sunny day, or it's going to be a sunny day here. And I'm rejoicing in the Lord and in His goodness. And it's a good day for you to rejoice in His goodness too. Let's open this morning to 2 Corinthians chapter 6. Where Paul writes, As workers together with God, we ask you not to receive the grace of God in vain. So don't receive God's uh, unearned goodness or favor, his power toward you, in vain or without purpose. Don't cause it to not be effective. For he says, In an acceptable time I have listened to you, and in the day of salvation I have helped you. Have you ever wondered when God is going to be ready? When is God going to be ready? Or when am I going to be ready to receive something good or to have something good happen to me? When am I going to be ready to get my life right? When will I be worthy to receive healing? When will I get things right? When will I prove to God that I'm ready? Well, it says, in the acceptable time, I have listened to you. Is God listening to us? In the day of salvation, I have helped you. You know, there's a lot of scriptures in the Old Testament that talk about God coming and helping people at certain times. In fact, there's a whole, a whole prophecy in Daniel about 70 years that they went into captivity. And afterwards, God helped them. Well, in the acceptable time, I have listened to you. And in the day of salvation, I have helped you. God comes and listens. He hears and he helps in these times. But when are these times? Look, the scripture continues to say, now is the accepted time. Look, now is the day of salvation. Don't wait. Don't wait for God. Don't wait for you to get things right. Right now, believe God. Right now, receive His grace. Believe that it's true and act like it is true. Don't wait another day. You don't have to wait another moment to receive the love of God, to call on Jesus, to become a Christian, and to receive the benefits of Christianity. Christianity is just believing what is true that God has said about his son. The one who sent his son so he would die for you and die for me and redeem us back from the awful state that we were all placed in before. The awful state that our own sin has put us in. Thank God for what he has done. But I don't need to wait another moment. I don't need to make myself perfect right now. Accept it. Right now, believe it. Right now, receive it. Don't be moved by any sort of contrary fake news that is sent to you that tells you it's not true. The enemy has been perfecting fake news. Perfecting, that's the wrong word. The enemy has been trying to perfect fake news for some 6,000 years or more. But God has real news, and real news will always prevail. Amen. Be blessed.